guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you have had a great week so far. I'm planning on uploading this on a Friday, so make sure you guys let me know what you're up to in the comments below this weekend. Brady and I are actually going to be in Boston by the time this video goes up, and I am so excited. We've been planning this trip for a few months, ever since we first visited Boston back in September or October. It was just like one of our favorite places, so I can't wait to go back. But today's video is just going to be like a casual, chatty video all about product empties or things that I've used up. I used to film these videos all the time. I think the last time I filmed this video was like three years ago, which is so crazy to me, but I just forgot about them. So I saved a lot of my products and I asked you guys on Snapchat if you like these videos and I've never received so many snaps before saying that you guys like them. So if you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below and I will definitely continue to keep filming them. I think it's a fun way just to chat about products that I've completely used up so I can give you guys a really good review on whether or not I think you should try it or if I'll repurchase it or just skip it. A lot of these products are hair care related or skincare related. I don't think I have any makeup this time around, but I will update you guys in an upcoming project pan update on the products that I've used up because I am trying to use up a lot of products this year. So the first product is from Batiste. It is their dry shampoo and this one is the dark or deep brown hint of color dry shampoo. When I reach for dry shampoo if I'm planning on going out in public, I always like to reach for one that has a hint of color because otherwise the regular dry shampoo can make my hair look a little bit gray or just a little bit dull. If you guys have dark hair, I'm sure that you know the struggle of like spraying it and not being able to like completely rub it in and going out with like white roots. So this one is one of my favorites because it is on the more affordable side. I have to say dry shampoo is expensive though, especially if you have a lot of hair or you use a lot of dry shampoo, you go through it really quickly. So I usually just reach for this if I'm going out in public. Otherwise, if I'm at home and I need dry shampoo, I'll use like a regular one. But yes, I would repurchase this. I repurchase it all the time and I would recommend it. The next product is actually a makeup product. I know I just said I didn't really have any makeup, but it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I completely used one of these up and I love this. I've been using it a lot lately. I go through times where I reach for this one or I reach for more of like an oil control base, but I love this one during the colder months because it is really hydrating. That being said, it's not overly hydrating, so it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily or feeling uncomfortable. It really sinks right into the skin. It's just very lightweight and it does a great job at prepping your skin for makeup. So I would recommend it in my opinion. I think it is a great product. The next thing is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I've, I love this product and I've been trying to use products that are a little bit better for my hair that don't have parabens or silicones. So in my next empties video, you might see different shampoos and conditioners, but I repurchase this all the time. I've probably gone through like 20 or 30 bottles of it because it just makes my hair feel really nice. I feel like it does add a little dose of hydration, but I know it's probably not the best hair product out there. So I have been going for products that are sulfate free, silicone free. So I'm still trying to find a good conditioner. I found a shampoo I like, but if you guys have any conditioner recommendations, please let me know. In the meantime, I have repurchased it. I love it. I think it does a great job. I just would like to find something that's a little bit healthier for my hair, but I have to say this one makes my hair feel really nice. I can't believe I finally finished this next product. It took me forever to finish it. It's from Soap and Glory. It is their Righteous Butter, and it's a very hydrating body butter. I love this so much. It smells so good. I can't really even explain what it smells like. You guys have to go to Ulta and test it out yourself. I've had this for the longest time, probably longer than I should have, and I repurchased it because I knew that I was nearing the end of it, and I finally finished it up. It's so hydrating. If you guys struggle with dry skin, you're going to love it. It. I have oily skin on my face, but the rest of my body is so dry. So this has been amazing for the winter time. It just leaves my skin feeling hydrated all day long and even into the next day before I take a shower. So I really like it. I think it's amazing. I will continue to repurchase this for sure. So I finished up the Tony and Guy Heat Protection Mist, and I really like this. I think it's a great option if you're looking for a heat protector. I don't know anything about the price off the top of my head, so I don't know if I can say if it's worth the price or not. I just had this like travel size that I got in a subscription box but I feel like it really did a great job at protecting my hair from heat and it didn't make my hair feel like certain heat protectants can make my hair feel sticky or like greasy they just 
I feel like I haven't had a lot of luck with heat protectors. I've tried a few that I really like, and this was definitely one of them. I would be willing to repurchase it if it's not too expensive. I do have other heat protectants that I have to use up before I repurchase one, but I really liked it. I feel like it did a good job. Also from Tony and Guy, I tried their leave-in conditioner. Oh, this is a leave-in conditioner? I thought it was a heat protectant this entire time that I used up, like the entire thing. So, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I. I wouldn't use both, I feel like. This did a great job. I have very frizzy hair, and I always like to use something in my hair before I blow dry it. Otherwise, it is like ginormous, and I have to either straighten it or curl it, and I usually do that anyways, but I feel like this did a great job. I thought it was a heat protectant. I feel like I probably should have used a separate heat protectant when I was using this, but it did really make my hair feel nice, and it blow dried really beautifully. I don't know if I would repurchase it though because I do use something similar from Briogeo that actually works as a heat protectant and a leave-in conditioner. So I would probably skip this and just repurchase my Briogeo one. I used two of the Biobel hashtag I woke up like this face masks. I actually probably used more than two of them, but I just started saving these the other day. I really like this one. I love Biobel sheet masks. They're my favorite. They're just so good. They're lightweight, but they still do a great job at, you know, providing your skin with hydration or specific specific skincare benefits. It depends on which one you use. So this one is supposed to enhance your skin's natural glow. I usually use this one when I have a breakout, but my skin is also a little bit dry because I feel like it moisturizes my skin, but it also isn't too heavy where it's going to cause another breakout. It really makes your skin look beautiful. I like to use this one at night. You can use it in the morning before makeup application too, but I feel like if you use it at night, you take it off and then you rub the remaining serum into your skin. The next morning, your skin just looks so beautiful. So I love these. I will definitely continue to use them. I also used up the when 10 o'clock p.m. face mask. This one, I don't know, these are good, but they don't give you as much information. This one says use when your skin feels tired. So it says that it has like gentle moisturizing ingredients, but they all kind of say that. So I usually just use them interchangeably. I wish they gave you more info. They probably do online. But when I'm really struggling with like super dry skin, which doesn't happen a lot, I'll usually reach for one of these because they are very hydrating. I don't know if I'll repurchase this one because I feel like it is great for dry skin and I have dry areas on my skin occasionally but it's almost a little bit too heavy for my skin so I think I'll probably stick with Biobel. I do have a few other from this brand which I'll probably use up or maybe pass along. Okay this one I talked about on Snapchat. Again I got so many snaps from you guys. A lot of you guys liked it and a lot of you guys hated it and I don't know how I feel about it yet. It is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask. This burned my skin like crazy. I've never experienced like such burning with a sheet mask so I actually couldn't wear it for the full it says to wear it for 10 minutes and I had to take it off after like three or four but the next morning my skin looked really clear so I feel like it, it worked it did a good job but it burned my skin like crazy so I don't really know that I should use another one because I feel like my skin just didn't interact well with this mask but it really worked <laughs> so I'm kind of on the fence about it I don't know a lot of you guys said you liked it a lot of you said it burned your skin too so let me know in the comments below if you guys haven't snapped me like what you think about this one or if you've tried any of the other yes to face masks because I know they have like a cucumber one a blueberry one so I would love to hear your thoughts on it I'm just so torn because it did work the next day my skin was really clear but I don't think it's a good idea to use something that just burns your face I used up two of the clean and clear makeup dissolving facial cleansing wipes and I really liked them obviously I used up two of them I think they did a great job at removing my makeup cleansing my skin on nights when I'm too lazy I really haven't really had too many of those nights I usually do pretty good at making sure that I do my skincare routine because I've really just been wanting a clear skin but I feel like it does a good job I would repurchase these I I just haven't been to the store and I'm using I have so many like makeup remover wipes in my collection right now that I'm trying to go through them before I repurchase anything but I feel like they are a good option this is my favorite cleanser in the entire world it is the Apollo's Choice skin balancing oil reducing cleanser it's made for normal oily or combination skin I've been using mine for about two years or yeah have I I did a video with Paula's Choice a while ago. I think it was two years ago. And ever since then, I've been using a lot of the products from the same skincare line. There are a few that I don't use right now. I still think they're all really great, but the entire skincare line, if you were to constantly repurchase it, would be a little bit expensive. So I've kind of supplemented a few of the other products with less expensive options, but I always repurchase this cleanser. I use it every single night. I usually remove my makeup with micellar water, and then I'll go in and cleanse my skin with this. And it does a great job at just removing 
removing any makeup that was left behind, cleansing my skin. My skin does not break out when I use this and it doesn't leave my skin dry and it doesn't leave it too hydrated. It's just like the perfect in-between cleanser. So it's really gentle. I love it. And you honestly just need a very small amount because it will cover your entire face. I just talked about this a few minutes ago, but it is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protecting Cream. This is my favorite because it does the work of a blow dry cream, but also the work of a heat protectant all in one. So I just like to apply this to my damp hair and then I'll usually let my hair air dry for a little bit after that and then I'll go in and blow dry it. It protects my hair so it helps against damage but it also makes sure that everything is just really smooth and not frizzy. I have a full review on it so I'll link it in the description box below but I love this. I repurchase it all the time. One of my favorite deep conditioners is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I actually just ordered a giant size of this off of Hot Look the other day. This one's eight ounces and I ordered a 16 ounce one so that one should last me for a while. This is amazing. I love a few different deep conditioning masks but when my hair is very dry I always reach for this one because it really just infuses so much moisture back into your hair and I'll usually do it on a day off so I'll just like completely soak my hair with this mask and a little bit of the oil and I'll leave it on my hair for a while like sometimes I'll get out of the shower and like dry off and get dressed and still leave it in my hair and rinse it out later and it just like puts all the life right back into your hair. It's really heavy so I wouldn't recommend using it very often. I usually use mine like once a week and I feel like that's enough for me. It's kind of expensive so I usually try to get mine on Holt Look and I, I love it. I repurchase it all the time. I finished two of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Waters. So I tried both of these. I have to say I do not like the waterproof version at all. It leaves a very weird film on the skin and it's just like oily and greasy. I used it up because I had it. I would usually use it for my eye makeup but I feel like the pink one does a great job at removing eye makeup as well. I did read some conflicting information about this about how there's an ingredient in here that is not good for you so I don't know if I'll repurchase it. I have to do more research on it. I liked it because it was an affordable option. I don't know. I have to look into it. If you guys have another alternative that you like that's a little bit better for you I would love to hear from you. And the last thing in here is from L'Oreal. It's their Extraordinary Clay Rebalancing Conditioner. I didn't like this. I won't repurchase it for sure. I just got it sent to me in an influencer box so I decided to finish it up and I'm working on the conditioner but I just feel like it didn't do anything for my hair. It made it feel more dry than before I got in the shower which was like definitely a no for me so I will not repurchase that for sure. Okay guys that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this empties video please let me know in the comments below and I will definitely continue to film them for you. It was just like a fun casual chatty video and I feel like when you finish up a product you can really give like your full thoughts and opinion on it whether or not you'll repurchase it or not instead of just trying something once or twice so I hope this video was helpful thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video bye